Good evening, I'm Keith Cates. I'm Gail Searins. Thank you for joining us this evening. One mother and 12 young children. They have no food, no clothes, no shoes, and no place to go after getting evicted. The Tampa mom says she's asked for help, but to no avail. Did the system fail her? That's what 8 on your side wants to know. News Channel 8's Jeff Patterson is in our Tampa newsroom with a story that has many different turns. Jeff? Indeed it does, Gail. Angel Adams says her children are a gift from God, but now she needs help caring for them. Adams is blaming the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office Child Protection Team and others for her problems. In my case, they have been in my life six months and I'm homeless. 37-year-old Angel Adams blames the system for her problems, a system of social service agencies trying to help her. Adams has 15 children, 12 who are now living with her in this small motel room. While we were in the room, the children had no food available, no shoes, and Adams says they haven't had a change of clothes in more than three days. A concerned employee of the motel called us after seeing her plight. Landlords recently evicted Adams and her children from this Tamp apartment after discovering she was living there with her 12 children. The kids' clothes, books, toys, and furniture are now out on the curb, picked over by scavengers. The building's owners say they gave ample warning to Adams, warnings they say she chose to ignore. We tried to help them, and, and, and um, I think several other agencies, you know, with the paying of her rent and, and the paying of her utilities and stuff, um, you know, did more than their part. But Adam says her life didn't start to fall apart until social service agencies got involved. Her fiancé, Gary Brown Sr., the man who fathered 10 of her 15 children, was arrested, and Adam says she was left with nothing. I don't have any clothes. Uh, people been donating food just around here, just helping me out with food, and I don't have anything. We called the Department of Children and Families to see what they've been doing to help. DCF says Hillsborough Kids Incorporated has been helping by paying Adams rent, even providing her furniture. Adams says it isn't enough. Somebody needs to pay for all my children. And my and Gary, all our suffering, all our pain, somebody needs to be held accountable and they need to pay. DCF Regional Director Nick Cox wanted to see for himself the situation that Adams now finds herself in. I know there's some help that's been coming your way, but what I'm concerned about right now is I want to make sure, number one, that for, the, for, for right now, you know, all of you and your kids don't belong in that one room. Tonight, Angel Adams and her 12 children are in a much better place after Nick Cox, who is the regional director of the Department of Children and Families, got involved. He found a temporary home at a kid's place in Brandon for the family. DCF says they will sit down with Adams and a team of case management workers to determine the best way to move forward to help her and the children, Gail. All right, Jeff. Hillsboro Kids Incorporated is a support agency that works for the Department of Children and Families. A spokesperson for HKI says they've been trying to work with Adams for months to help, even paying $800 a month in rent for several months, trying to help her get back she has on her been feet. Given, has given birth to 15 children. She was living with 12 of those children in a small two-bedroom motel room. She also angered a lot of you with her attitude. Today, Angel Yuli Adams was back in Hillsborough Court and again, surprised everyone. News Channel H's Jeff Patterson has covered this story for, for us from the very beginning and joins us now with his very latest development, Jeff. Gail, Angel Yuli Adams was sent to jail last week for contempt of court when she refused to tell the judge whether she was pregnant. Today, Angel finally answered the question. I'm just a single mom with 12 minor children. When we first met Angel Adams, she was living in a small motel room with 12 of her 15 children ranging in age from 11 years to six months, and she was angry at the system. Somebody needs to pay for all my children. DCF Regional Director Nick Cox stepped in and moved Angel and her children to a kid's place in Brandon as a temporary home. But Angel remained defiant. In court last week, Hillsborough County Judge Tracy Sheehan asked Angel a pointed question at a status hearing. Are you pregnant? Sheehan demanded to know because she was concerned Adams had been with a man in front of the children at the motel room or in a small two-bedroom apartment she had lived in before being evicted. Take her away, deputies. When Adams refused to answer, Sheehan sent her to jail for contempt of court. 
Today, at yet another hearing, Sheehan released Adams from jail. I called uh, in everyone to say I have no interest in leaving her in jail. Because I think to do so just burdens the taxpayers of Hillsborough County even further. Then DCF Regional Director Nick Cox updated the court on the children. They appear to be doing very well. And finally, Angel Adams spoke, surprising everyone. Um, to your question of me being pregnant, no, I am not pregnant. And no, my children have not been around any men outside of their father. Adams went even further, apologizing to the court and to DCF. And I do want to apologize to you and say I'm sorry to everybody in the room. Um, you know, I understand that these people have went out of their way to get a house for me and my children. The children remain in state custody. DCF is working with family members to place the children in homes with family members. Today, the judge revealed when her children were taken away before, Adams went for 10 months without seeing them. DCF Director Nick Cox says he hopes to work with Angel this time to return the children to her. But he says that depends on her actions. In the Tampa Newsroom. I'm Jeff Patterson. Well, News last Channel. time Angel Yuli Adams was here at the Hillsborough County Courthouse, there was a shot at her kids getting out of a foster home. That's if a relative took them in. But it turns out that family member doesn't want to help her anymore. This yellow East Tampa home is a place some family members say is big enough to house 12 kids. There was a chance that Angel Yuli Adams' one dozen children could get out of foster care and stay here with her brother Joe. On hard times when the state come in and, and the judge and DCF, they came in and brought a, a lot of mess, you know, and alle different allegations against her. But before then, Angel was doing great on her own. Adams' sister, Mary Gibson, lives next door to Job and told us state authorities are being hard on the woman. I won my cases and I still don't have my children. She, we're tired. The family is tired. Just give us back our family. What, what is going on? In courtroom 308, Judge Tracy Sheehan might have made a decision on whether Adams' children could go live with Uncle Joe. The paraphrase by Uncle Joe is that they, they don't feel that the mother is willing to make any changes or listen to anybody that's willing to help her. But Uncle Joe didn't show up because after a visit with the kids, he's now too upset with his sister to help out, authorities say. When they got to the home, the, the mother basically just stood there, offered no assistance in getting... Adams' lawyer says the mom is doing what she can to get her kids back. And, Your Honor, the mom would let me update you. She's uh, still sick, trying to uh, get, a, get a place for her and the children and would like all the assistance she can. Outside the courtroom, one of the dads spoke to us. The best uh, the kids get place, you know, a good home. But Adams walked away with no comment. Adams' next court date is set for next month. Meantime, as for her kids of the 15, the oldest three, well, they're old enough to take care of themselves. As for the younger dozen, well, for now, as she continues to fight for them, they're going to have to stay in a foster home, a unique one in Brandon, where they get to stay together. And she can go visit them if that visit is supervised and if they know ahead of time she's coming. Live in downtown Tampa, Elizabeth Din. He's tonight for the mother of 15 children, 12 of whom are minors. She was jailed for being in contempt of court when she wouldn't tell the judge if she was pregnant again or identify who was around her children. Fox 13's Warnelli says Angel Adams is out now, but she's further away from getting her children back. The last time we saw Angel Adams, she was getting out of jail on contempt charges. Judge releasing her because all 12 of her minor children are now in protective custody. I have no interest in leaving her in jail. Adams had already made headlines for lambasting social workers for not doing enough after they gave her thousands in assistance and arranged a new home. And now more trouble only a day after Adams' release from jail. Police had to be called. Deputies say Adams and her sister in front of the children became profane and abusive with shelter workers. Court papers say Adams got angry when a social worker referred to herself as the children's house mother. The judge repeated Adams' words. Quote, she ain't your mama, and who the do you think you are having them call you mama? Is that what she said? My client denies saying that, Your Honor. Were people cursing in front of the kids? Well, it was back and forth. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Then in front of a small army of social workers and lawyers, Adams hedged on visiting the kids in front of a psychiatrist. Your Honor, my client is just concerned that 
the more that she does, the more the department wants her to to uh, to do in order to get her children back. But, you know, it's always one more thing, Ms. Adams. Uh, it's not like, let's make a deal over here. You don't want to visit. With our rules, you don't visit. Social workers, meanwhile, telling the judge they filed the paperwork to make Adams' two youngest children dependents of the state. Warren Ellie, Fox 13 News. And deputies say Adams has been banned from the shelter where her children are staying. They say she and her sister threatened to harm the social workers who are caring for them.